Maybe. <laughs> we're live on YouTube. I know we're on Facebook. Those are the ones, right? All right, we're good. <laughs> it's New Guitar Thursday. I am John here. You know what? It's been a crazy week. <laughs> I say that every single week. It, and it actually is crazy. We got a lot of people out this week. Uh, uh, some of them coming back. I'm really excited to see some of them come back because guess what? We got a ton of stuff in. Jackson is back. Jackson came back yesterday. He will be masked for eternity. Actually, we're looking at a muzzle. Does anybody know if they make human muzzles? That would be interesting. <laughs> no, we're glad to have Jackson back. Um, it is New Guitar Thursday. We got a lot of stuff in. We've been shipping a lot of it already out. Guess what that new ad came that came in last week? It's already gone. It's already been put on layaway. The guy's going to pick it up. He's going to love that guitar. Uh, sold the Boucher VG42. I'm going to be talking about a lot of guitars in here right now. There's a bunch of, bunch of that have never been unboxed. There's stuff that we unboxed but hasn't been shown the light of day. I'm going to go through that. I'm also going to talk about uh, the event tomorrow here. You need to be here. This is going to be awesome. Tom Bedell. Tom Bedell. This guy is amazing. Uh, we'll be here. He's going to be talking all about Breedlove and Bedell guitars. Um, talk about how they do their uh, sound optimization, how they build, where he gets his woods from, how they do sustainability. It's going to be awesome. It'll be a live event here at the Acoustic Shop. If you want to be here, please join us. It is going to be a great time. Uh, that one starts, I believe, at 6.30. We'll also be streaming it live on this social media network right here. If you have not yet subscribed to whichever one you're on, please do so. That way you get notified of all these cool things. We just released an awesome video uh, that uh, Hinkley just finished up on our new sustainability. We're going to be introducing that tomorrow night, our new sustainability efforts, uh, the Acoustic Shops Shops Sustainably. It's a really, really cool video, uh, and you can check that on YouTube. I believe it's also been released on Facebook. talks about what we are going to be doing to giving back to the planet and what a good weekend to do it. Mother's Day, right? So there you go. Uh, and we're also going to be at the Mother's Day, Springfield Mother's Day Festival over at uh, Mother's Brewery. Did I say Mother's Day? I said Earth Day. It's an Earth Day, not a Mother's Day. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm all confused, and that's all right. Uh, but anyway, we will be over at Mother's for the Earth Day Festival, Springfield's Earth Day Festival. Uh, we got a stage, the Acoustic Shop stage. We'll be there. Uh, Tom Adele is going to be also there speaking tomorrow night. No, Saturday night. And so... Anyway, lots of kind of cool stuff going on. So join us for both tomorrow night here, Saturday at Mother's for the Earth Day Festival. Um, and then check out that new sustainability program. We're going to be introducing our entire program, what we're going to be doing for giving back. It's going to be really, really cool. So we'll introduce that tomorrow. But first, we're going to talk about all kinds of new guitars. We talked about Boucher. Guess what? Got another Boucher just came in. Has not made its way to the web yet. But I'm going to open it up for you guys right now. This is a Boucher BG52GM. This is a gold master pack uh, guitar right here. This has the master grade Adirondack top as well as the gold thermo cure. Uh, again, you guys, we did a video on this a little bit ago. Jake Workman had one of these. He just got shipped a new 42 as well as a 152, I think it is. Um, which is kind of cool. So we will be seeing both of those guitars in here again. So there you go, absolutely beautiful. Master grade Adirondack spruce top, has koa wood bindings, East Indian rosewood, has their matte finish, uh, boucher neck, and again, those who haven't played those, if you're, that's a great feeling neck, a very comfortable, different feel. Uh, again, this is that powerhouse uh, guitar if you want a more modern sounding guitar uh, that you can't hardly beat the boucher. So that just came in. Now the BGs all have bluegrass goose, all have inch and three quarter necks from factory. So this guitar has that as well. So that is a cool product that we just got in and we'll be sit hitting the website very soon or maybe not. If you're interested in it, you should grab it now because some of these guitars are going to disappear before they even make the web, which happens quite often. 
got in a FERC shipment. So let's look at some of these. Um, and there's some more of these over even next door that haven't made their way over here. This is a guitar I've never seen before, but we ordered. This is from their Orange series. This is an Orange uh, Grand Concert. A, uh, with looks like uh, spruce and rosewood, yeah. So in an orange, ooh, look at this. I have not seen this yet, Trent. Looking good, wood bindings on this. Rosewood back and sides. Has the, uh, the uh, LR Bags Anthem already installed, factory. Beautiful spruce top. Now look at this inlays right here. That's beautiful. Very attractive, and it looks like it has the 510 tuners on it as well. So that is really nice to see. Uh, let's hear what this one sounds like, just for the heck of it. I got, I got Jackson coming over here to take a look at it already. We've got extra spots right here. How many does it Not have enough. Five? Not enough. I need that extra D right there. So there you go, absolutely beautiful. That is the Ferk, Ferk Orange series uh, in a grand concert. A beautiful guitar, actually it's a grand auditorium I believe with a cutaway. Very cool guitar. Um, on top of that, let's see what else we got from Ferk. We actually got three or four more guitars. We got in a vintage, vintage one. Let's check that out. This was one of Jackson's favorite guitars when he started and guess what? You guys, if you don't already know this, yesterday was Jackson's one year anniversary. We cannot believe he survived a full year here at the shop. So next time you see him, say happy anniversary. And again, I know most of you guys can't believe he lasted a full, full year here at the shop. <laughs> but that's okay, we like him anyway. Uh, this is a Vintage One Dread. This is Mahogany uh, back. This was the guitar that uh, he absolutely was into the first day he came to work here at the shop. Not this exact one, but just like it. Um, a big, booming, monster-sounding guitar. So, the C. one too there you go that is a vintage one so very cool guitar uh, also just came in so that's from Ferk these all come in by the way the um, the Hicks Cox cases that are actually built for Ferk and then Trent's got my next one this one's a kind of special guitar these ones are tough and we sell these, these are tough to show off because we have sold quite a few and I haven't had one of these in a long time this is the Ferk Little Jane. This is the smallest travel guitar. Comes in a backpack. Very cool deal. Check this out. It's an entire guitar backpack size. And here's what's cool about this guitar. This one looks like it has a cedar top on this. Um, the neck in this pocket right here. And you'll put that together. Then you'll take this headstock and you will put the headstock on the neck just like this comes together then we take the body and we put it in the pocket just like that and then I'm gonna move this clip out of the way well I get this has been a while since I've done this here Trent so hopefully I had to remember how to do this you pull it back get the clip inside oops I missed I got it no I had it shoot should be that it should be easier than that this is what happens live TV right here there it is it's caught Bring it back and hold it back at the same time. Latches into place. And there you have it, instant guitar right there. And this, huh? No, because something's wrong here. Action set up low here, Trent. <laughs> it's close. 
guess I didn't have it all the way seated in the bottom of the pocket there, but. Check it out. Uh, yeah, locking tuners for the strings. You get to uh, make it quicker for string changes, as well as keeping everything locked in and in the right spot for uh, the travel and disassembly of it. So that's really cool. I will not take this apart right now. I'm going to set this off to the side here if I find a stand. Maybe I have a stand. I'll just put it on the counter. That's what I'll do. You got it? Look at this. He's got it. Jackson's got it right here. All right. So there's the FERC Little Jane. All of it goes back inside this little bag, which is really, really cool. And it's got backpack straps. You can take this anywhere and is a very, very cool uh, product. Talk about the uh, Bedell uh, event. I got one Bedell came in, which is great because I only had two guitars from Bedell for this event. Lots of Breedlove stuff, but only one Bedell. So they got me, rushed us out and got it to us, a uh, Coffee House Dread. This is one of our most popular models from them. And again, if you've never uh, seen or worked with Bedell guitars, these uh, are really cool. They have the sound optimization. Inside here is a card that talks about the weights, the thicknesses, the voicing of the guitar. And they actually voice the back and the top. And they work some very kind of cool deal. It talks about the resonant frequency of both as well as the overall fundamental frequency. This is a rosewood sides and back Adirondack spruce top with a um, with koa wood bindings on this one as well absolutely beautiful the burst looks great on this i really like this is a unique color smells good. Did you notice that, Trent? Do you smell that? It's very, very fragrant. Good job, guys. And again, so all sustainability. We're going to talk all about the details of how they build these guitars. So I got it, this one in. This is our most popular selling uh, Bedell guitar, by far the uh, Coffee House Dread. And they make it in the 002 and all kinds of really cool. The Coffee House series, very, very popular. I told you I had a lot to talk about, and I still have even more. Should we go into the lava stuff before we go to McPherson? Or save that to last? All right, we're going to save that for last. All right, McPherson, just got this one in. Been waiting on this one for a long time. We got the very first one of these that was built, and it sold fairly quick. You guys know that have been around for the McPherson uh, events. Again, if you guys have any questions, make sure to do that. They're watching and trying to monitor some of that, so if you have any questions, let me know. And... Uh, so how much is that FERC Dread going to be? It's around 15-ish, 16, the no, Vintage 1? I think, let's see, the Vintage 1, I think it went up, I want to say it's going to be like 18 15 18-ish, okay, $1,800. It'll be around the $2,000 and hopefully under that. I don't have those numbers exactly with us, but that, uh, that Vintage 1 is a great sounding guitar. Um, keep those questions coming because I'll try to give you as many answers. <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you inaccurate answers all you want. That's what I'm here for. Um, McPherson Carbon Guitars. We've been doing these for a very long time, and they came out with a whole new carbon material. This I guess it was about six months ago, maybe. And we got the very first ones. I saw the pictures. He sent me a picture of it, and I was like, Yeah, let's do that. So we got one back in. And it looks like these are back in the hard shell cases for now. Again, I was on some forums. I want to help everybody out here. Cases. Let's talk about cases. I was on some forums. People were getting really upset about they got a guitar and think they got a fake case because it's not the one that everybody else has and all that. I know we're still doing well here mostly in America and getting a lot of stuff, but I am here to tell you supply chain issues have been crazy. We, uh, people are, especially cases, cases are all over the place. These manufacturers are having a hard time keeping the cases that they've always run because the manufacturer is either not able to build or they're not able to ship them. And instead of holding up guitars, uh, mandolins, whatever it happens to be, uh, for a case, they're coming up with alternatives. 
you did not get a fake it's just what it is right now so give these companies a little bit of leeway i know there was a, some issues and some people love the hard shell cases but not, some other ones love the uh reunion blues bags that they've switched to on the carbons um again i know that they were having some problems sourcing both so right now it's kind of both i guarantee if you call justin at uh mcpherson they will help you out with whichever one that you were supposed to get so anyway this one has the hard shell case um but i hope this is the one i think it's gonna be this should be a camo it is the new uh the new version of the Sable guitar this year, and this one has a camo pattern. So instead of just the basket weave, we've had the basket weaves, we've had the uh, honeycombs, and we had the standard carbons. This one actually is coming in a full carbon, or sorry, camo on a carbon, which is really, really cool. Great guitars. Uh, now with the new black 510 tuners, uh, they actually added an inlay in the headstock as well and an inlay in the neck. Those are all new for this year. Um, and right now it's not tuned. Instead of wasting all your time watching me tune it, I'll probably just pause. Unless somebody just says they wanna hear it, let me know and I'll try to get that done. But that just came in. You just saw, we just unboxed it. So pretty excited about that. We'll get that one going very shortly and hopefully be online. As well as it looks like I just got in today. We didn't grab it, but it looks like we also got in a, uh, another basket weave, maybe? What is it I don't have in right now? Is one I don't, honeycomb? One of the two. It's either basket weave or a honeycomb. So we got, that just came in the door. All right, so let's talk about this. This is a new product and I've got a bunch of it over next door. And those who have been watching guitar stuff know that this company has been really, really aggressive with their advertising. It is a company called Lava and they're coming out with something that is really, really unique, really, really special. They sent me a demo of it about oh two months ago we got it in i was blown away with it i really was afraid i was not going to like it at all i don't like gimmicky toy type of products i especially when it comes to guitars we're serious about guitars and i just didn't want to have to deal with that idea and i've seen stuff that was kind of in the same vein now this is a little bit different though this is a new thing by a company called lava guitars and this one the one i'm going to open here i've got so many different ones next door and we're going to cover all of them as we get them all in they make a uke they make a pro level guitar they call it the pro they have the lava me 3 which we got right here a me 2 um all kinds of really cool products but here's what it is i'm gonna should i start i am i am i'm gonna start with the lava 3. so the me 3 is what i got as a demo i'm gonna check out this packaging and see how this all goes what it is is a smart guitar and I know that sounds silly I again agree with you I think the idea of a smart guitar was ne nothing that I was all that excited to be into but what it is is a carbon fiber guitar that is smart and again not a toy in any way shape or form so we're getting to see the first time getting a full packaging because the version I had was for demo use so it has this really cool bag right here it has some cool look at these lava picks i'm gonna have to check those out cool packaging for that what's inside here a cable usb cable and you'll see why here in a little bit and probably an instruction manual is what i would assume is still here on the other side of this all right so this is a carbon fiber guitar that is well set up. This is actually plecked. Every one of these is plecked so that it is in perfect playing condition, super lightweight. I was blown away by this idea. The case is really cool. Um, all right. There's a lot of packaging here. All right. String cover here to keep the strings fresh. All right, this one's in white and they have other colors. They have a space gray, very, this is like the eye guitar. If you had an eye Mac or a eye whatever, this is an eye guitar. So this is a full carbon fiber guitar, it is lightweight. This is actually lighter than most of the carbon fiber guitars that we have seen in here. Um, I'm gonna get it tuned up and then I'll show you where it goes further than that.
All right, here's where it gets cool. Check that out. That is a touchscreen device on the side of the guitar, and I'm going to power it up. Hopefully, it's got some charge to it. It does. All right, so we're going to light it up. And we did a full demo of this here the other uh, last week. It'll be coming to the channel. Again, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, do so. Check it out. Uh, we ought to have a full demo of this and talk about all the functions that are inside here. So, and it's going to load up here. This has actual effects built into the guitar, and you can hear them through it. It actually uses the body to do so, and you'll be able to hear some of these cool effects, as well as cool practice tools and things that go along with that. Again, we probably ought to pick... I hope you can hear that. So we're going to hit Next for English. Now it's loading up here. And I'm not going to set up all the Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff to go along with it. Hello, welcome to La... Activate. You know what? I don't think I want to go that far. Let's see here. I don't want to set up somebody's thing for them. I wonder if I can skip out of this. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I guess it's going to make me do so. All right. Well, I'm not going to be able to do this right now. Well, I hear I am going to do it. Just for the heck of it. This is on our guest network here. Let's see if it gets us into here. Because it's so cool. I hope you can hear that. It's actually playing through the guitar itself. Connected. Next. Oh, I don't. All right, I'm going to have to do this on a later date because otherwise we're going to be here all day. Either way, this has effects built into it. It has practice stuff built into it. We're going to set it up and you will be able to see all the cool functions with this. I have a demo of it at home or actually next door. I loved it. My kids loved it. There were practice tricks that go along with an app where you can strum along with it, do your chord changes along with it. It's pretty darn amazing. Not only that, but it actually sounds pretty darn good so I know we didn't get the full demo of that idea but here's where it gets even cooler it has a charging dock I love this this is where you know again it's not gonna get moved by weather it's not gonna be affected by anything else so you can leave it sit out on your deal. This will be the ultimate practicing. It has effects like reverb, chorus, all that already built in. You get to hear it along with your guitar. It has a pickup that has a microphone built in so you can do a combo blended pickup system. Now this is the space charging dock. I'm assuming that's a cable underneath here. But how cool would it be to have a charging dock for that that you just leave sit by your stereo, whatever it happens to be, or, or off in the corner. Look at this. I haven't got to see one of these yet. I know I saw pictures of it, so I get the idea. But again, now you have a cradle to set it in. And it will just sit inside there and charge while it's there. So it becomes part of your furniture. It becomes part of your look. And again, in different colors, it will be pretty awesome. Now, it's not a crazy price. This is a, a carbon fiber guitar that has all these extra features. It is plecked, it does play great. And again, I was blown away by the, the ability for that to do so. And it's gonna be under $1,200, I think. So. Uh, a right or right around in that $1,200 price tag. Now, again, the charging dock is sold separately and a lot of really cool uh, deals. This has a loop station built in, practice stuff, a metronome, a guitar tuner. It has so many cool features already built into it. Um, so anyway, I took it home. My kids were amazed. I never had my kids practice anything as much as they did that. So my daughter is about to turn, what is she now? She'll be 11 years old very shortly here. And she went online and decided she's got to have one. She wanted a ukulele. So 
I found out that she found out that Lava makes a ukulele as well. So she begged me to get her one. Now this is not hers, but I ordered her one in this batch as well. And this is what it is. This is the Lava Uke. Now, not quite as many features as that one and way more affordable, but still a carbon fiber ukulele. Comes in a case. It's a pretty cool case. This is gonna be cool. She's gonna love this. Now this one's in pink. I have them in white, I think, and blue, and all kinds of cool colors. You can definitely tell the Asian inspire here. This is, but it's pretty sleek. That's a pretty cool case. Again, carbon fiber. Let's see how this uh, opens up. I've got a double handle. Push to open. Hmm. This is an unboxing longer than anybody was probably expecting, but carbon fiber is going to stay in tune. It doesn't have the touch screen, but it does have effects already built in. So it's hard to see in this angle here. We got a reverb, it looks like. Yeah, reverb, other effects, and a volume for those effects on the side. So you actually have these two dials. And again, it should turn on as well. Well, you got to excuse me, I'm like blind today. All right, let's see if it gets in tune first. So this, uh, let's see if I can find the power button on this and see how this works. Oh, it's got chorus delay on off. There it is. See if it's oh, lit up. It's cute. Hey, look, right there. So we have our reverb right here. I'm going to turn it all the way down. I'll turn these all the way up. But I'll add the reverb. That's a little much, but. Then we can add a little chorus or delay. So you have your built-in effects here, and again, you can control all those right here. It'll be a whole lot of fun. It's really cool. It's carbon fiber. It's not going to take, uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of abuse, not have any major issues. Comes in a cool carrying case, and these are actually pretty affordable. I want to say right around the $350, $400 range. Again, for a carbon fiber anything, this is something that they can take along with them and, and uh, you can take along with you and, and kind of have your own uh, cool uh, unit. So I've got some of those in the bigger tenor size as well as concert size. Um, I got her a purple one. She just loves that. There's a blue one over there, a lot of different colors. The Lava Me Pro is going to be uh, opened up. We're going to go through all the details on that. Watch for the specifics on the Lava Me 3. I wish I uh, knew that it had to be set up all the way through that. I will probably bring one of those over in the next couple of days and hopefully get that to kind of go through that for you. So I apologize for not being able to go into the details. If you have any questions on it, though, again, send these in here. We will answer as many as we can. That is a super cool product. We are beyond excited about that. I cannot tell you, after going through the lesson stuff that they had, how excited I was because there's some really, really beneficial stuff as a teacher that is totally worthwhile in that guitar besides just being a cool, overall fun, easy, easy to play instrument. This is extremely easy to play. This is the most playable ukulele I've seen yet. So very cool. I'm really excited about that. I love this. I love this charging dock. I love the idea of having that in my house and having it charged up and just be there. That's going to that's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to, to get one and uh, have it at my house. So anyway, again, events coming up. We have tomorrow night, Tom Bedell. You need to be there. Uh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to be talking about all kinds of cool stuff with Breedlove Guitars, Bedell Guitars. He's got our new sustainable mission. Again, if you have not checked out that video that is on our YouTube page as well as our Facebook, do that. Uh, lots of information this week. I know I went through a lot of unboxing. We had a lot of instruments to kind of go through, and this is not even close to the end of it. There are even probably this much more that is sitting over there next door that is waiting to be received. Um, it has been a crazy week, like always. I say it, but it is absolutely the truth. So come here tomorrow night, Friday. 
Come join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be giveaways. I saw, I heard that there's going to be special t-shirts made. There are some free gift cards that are going to be here. No, Jackson, you cannot have any. Um, all kinds of really cool stuff. So come by, check that out. Have fun with us on Friday. I will say I've had a lot of calls about the Chapman's concert. Guess what? It will be moved to a new date and time. Uh, those who are following, uh, they got a hold of it. We booked this space uh, three months ago, probably. And uh, as soon as we announced it, that's when the event place told us, hey, uh, we messed up. We already put two different things in there that same day. So we're going to be working on finding an alternate date for that and making that work. Uh, so stay tuned. We will make it happen. I promise that new concert series is going to get started. So stick with us. The big sale we got on Boveda uh, humidity stuff, it went so big we're actually sold out of most of it. We had the small instrument uh, uh, packs for, uh, for those so you can be able to use those as well as we do have the singles uh, still left. So not much of the Boveda stuff on here, but I'm going to order more, get those back in. So again, if you haven't looked up that, check that stuff out. Anyway, it was a new guitar Thursday. I hope you had fun. You listened to all my ramblings and checked out all the cool packaging and unboxing and all the crazy stuff that we had for you this week. We will see you next week. In fact, we'll see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night right here where you're at. Bedell Breedlove. It's going to be a lot of fun.